Good evening, everybody. It's not been a, a good past few days. Friday, December 16th, my mother passed away. She had eternal bleeding, which was caused by a blockage in her bowel. And that caused her to have a, I'm guessing, a massive heart attack. She complained at the nursing home as a stomach ache. They took her vitals. She had no pulse and no, um, what's, what's up, blood pressure. And they, I guess they went to call 911. They went back, not even five minutes later, maybe two minutes later, she already passed away. Um, tell your mom that you love her. If you're having a quarrel or an argument or whatever, put it aside and go hug her. My mom was only 69. She would have been 70 March 19th, which is my sister's birthday. I'll be 43 on March 29th. I, I think that makes my sister 46 on March 19th. Cheryl, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. So... Hug, hug your mother. Tell her that you love her. Call her all the time. If you have even an, an hour, go see your mother. And if you live like on the other side of the country, make a couple trips a year or something to go see her. Or do like um, FaceTime or Skype or even make a video in here and send it to her. Have her do the same thing to you. If you cannot be there because of a job or something. If your mother's getting up there in age like 60 plus and she, she's by herself, ask her to move in with you. Move there with her. Because you may never know. You might say, I love you, Mom. I talked to her the, like a couple days before. No, I seen her the Monday before her death. And... I call, uh, my friend called and said she's upbeat, she's fine, she was laughing on the phone with her, and I was going to call her later on that night before, around 7 I was going to call her on Friday, and 6, 6.30 I got a, my father comes in the room and tells me that my mom passed away, I'm like, what, my mom? Of course my mom, not his, he's been gone for four years. So, hug your mother. I'm repeating myself, but hu hug your mother and father, your whole family. Love you. God bless.